status quo of having two independent school districts in a divided community is not producing a qualified workforce by any measure. In nine out of the last ten years, businesses in our community have said the quality of our workforce is the single number one issue that they have faced. It's nine out of the last ten years. Test scores and graduation rates in Valdosta and Lowndes County is a little above or a little below, depending on which one you want to look at, below average in a state that ranks among some of the lowest in our country. Yes, our schools are improving. We acknowledge that. But unfortunately, our children are still lagging behind and being prepared for today's competitive workforce and being prepared to go to college. Despite these achievements and the academic gains in our public schools, that has been accomplished in the past couple of years. The need to reform public schools, not only here but in our nation, and to gain greater community support for education is real. Using test data from 2009 10 school year from the Georgia Department of Education, Valdosta High School has failed to meet standards for five consecutive years. Made improvements in graduation rates, but school officials recently disclosed that the graduation rate of Valdosta High School in the low, is in the low 50% range when using the new method for reporting graduation rates. More than 60% of high school students in Valdosta fail state exams in math, and 40% fail state exams in science. 22% of eighth graders. And now lost the field of state exam in math and 46% failed state exam in science. 19% of third grade students in Bell lost the field of state exam in math. 30% fail the state exam in science. This measure is important because research shows children who perform at grade level by the third grade are more likely to graduate. These numbers are concerning, but the data also shows that economic disadvantaged students are struggling in even larger numbers. Approximately 34% of our graduating students last year required mediation in entering college or technical school. Many have asked how school unification will help improve public education. And this is a great question. We we'll look forward to hearing more this evening from Dr. Jenkins in a few minutes about how school unification helped improve public education and to the county. So it's a real example. Diversity in our public schools will improve and will reflect the realities of our world. There's a growing body of evidence that suggests that the diverse student body leads to gains in reading and math as well as eroding long-held racial prejudices. School unification can combine our resources and give the unified school system the ability to introduce new academic programs such as magnet schools or expand successful programs such as early college, IB, and pre-K. So all students can benefit 